welcome back to Guitar Discoveries. I'm kicking back on vacation. I want to welcome you also to 2020, to the new decade. Wish you a happy new year and uh, welcome you to the Roaring Twenties where I hope you play your guitar, sing, and roar all decade long. So I'm here in Hawaii. I'm sure you're hearing the ambient sounds of Hawaii. I'm in Honolulu right now, so it might get a little loud at times. Uh, it's funny whenever I'm in Hawaii or you know anything that feels like this, this kind of tropical vibe, I get really attracted to Hawaiian slack key tunings. Now, slack key is kind of a funny thing, you know, you might wonder what that is. The number one thing to know is that the, the concept of a slack key tuning is just that from a standard tuning, we got a dogfight going on back here. Hey, it's New Year's Day, anything could happen. <laughs> so what's the concept of slack key? Why do they call it slack key? Well, the answer is, from standard tuning, E, A, D, G, B, E, you're always going to be slacking, loosening, or changing certain notes. Now, one of the most common of the slack key tunings, and it's the one I'm gonna play a little ditty in today, is called uh, tarot patch. And all you do is you take your E string and you tune it down to D like this. Take your A string and you tune it down to G like this. You take your D string, don't do anything to it. Your G string, don't do anything to it. B string, don't do anything to it. High E, tune it down to D. So there are three strings that are getting tuned down, right? Your low E is down to D, the fifth string A is down to G, and the first string, E, is down to D. So it, basically, it makes an open G. It's a simple open G tuning. It sounds pretty sweet, too. So there are all kinds of slack key tunings. You can just look it up on Wikipedia and you'll see that there's a whole bunch of them listed right there. Each of these is associated with certain people, certain guitarists, certain songs, and um, one of the things that's cool is that you can explore any of these and you'll just find that it causes you to play in different chord positions. Now with tarot patch tuning, the one that I'm in right now, uh, it's, it's basically a simple version of open G, and which means that there's your open G chord right there. Right, there's your C chord at the fifth fret just by barring across it, and your D chord is up here at the seventh fret just barring across it, and then you let it open again. So you've essentially got, you know, great, great for beginners, right? Because those are right there. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that because you're in an open G tuning, when you're finger picking, you're not going to want to start with the low D string. The low D is not the tonic of that key, right? The, the tonic note is on your fifth string, the A. So if you kind of think of that, your bass notes are alternating back and forth like that. So if I just play a little bit. That sounds pretty Hawaiian, doesn't it? <laughs> It's kind of nice. I was just, when I first tuned to this, I thought, oh, I'll just start playing around with it, and here's what came out. So, super basic, right? But it's kind of, kind of fun, and it has that, that laid-back Hawaiian feel to it. One of the things I love about slack key, there's something about loosening those strings that adds to the laid back island feel. So that's what this is really all about.
came up with that little thing in just a few minutes when I first got inspired by the tarot patch tuning. So, hey, welcome to 2020. I hope you enjoyed that little moment in paradise here in Honolulu. Please come back and uh, check out all the guitar discoveries. I've done a whole bunch of these different things. There's some in alternate tunings and some on tips and tricks and different axes and things like that. Oh, by the way, I'm playing my little Martin LX1E travel guitar. Don't leave home without it. Thanks for coming to Guitar Discovery. See you soon.